Good morning. Good morning. So, what are we doing today? We're gonna lift the same thing we do every day, Pinky. No. <laughs> <laughs> Try to fix the Unimog. Well, enjoy the video. We're gonna install all the stuff now. Yeah! <laughs> Very special tool. Always make sure you clean everything so it's not greasy. Because we do not like greasy clutches. Let's see. We have the centering pins over there. Put a centering pin over here. And it should just align. Tap, tap, tap. Now we can just go ahead and bolt in everything. If you tighten these, just make sure that you do that uh, the same way as you would do uh, your tires or your, your, your wheels. I mean, just go across. And of course, these should be torques. Should be. Anyway, it's done. <laughs> um, one thing. The little transport clips. Oh, that's a good one. That's a very observant cameraman we've got here. <laughs> Almost with like a. Uh, those little clips are for, uh, well, for packaging and transporting. And... Do not forget to remove these because you will not be able to 
uh, disengage your clutch if those are still in there. No, it's half disengage them. Yeah, I think. I think at, at least your clutch isn't working properly. That's that's <laughs> that's one thing for sure. And if everything's okay, you can remove tool, special tool, insert thingy, and it should be working. Working. Oh, I need to open it. <laughs> Frippity drippy. Philip. Am I gonna spill again? There, I can see how much uh, goes in. So we're just using this bottle because it's handy to fill uh, fill the axles. Yeah, because you need to have uh, like um, a very small nozzle to fit in the hole. A fitting plug, whatever. Mm. So we use sometimes garden hose also works. A long garden hose, but then you can't really see what's going on. No, oh, there it comes. No conservation oil in it. No. What you want to do with new axles is there's uh, sometimes there's uh, a conversation oil in there, and you need to flush it out because it's uh, it's not good as a lubricant. It just it's just there to prevent corrosion and stuff in your axles. So always make sure you get that stuff out, right? Yes. But that looks like just normal oil. So at the Belgian army they did a super great job at painting this stuff. <laughs> There's no drips at all. <clears throat> oh well. They apparently painted it with a blue. <laughs> As you do. There it is. It's like right there. It's perfect. Perfect. Is that uh, conservation oil? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, smell. Yeah. <laughs> smell a vision. I think I need to flush it. There we go. Put it in. Put it in the zerk. Yeah, this whole squad only. You can see that is. Um, where did I leave the other uh, block? Yeah, this is the red one. Where did I leave the where you Oh, Quickly fill it up. Yeah, there it is.
So that's about five liters. Yes. And it needs six. Just six liters. Yeah. What a lot of people don't know is um, there is a really tiny, small uh, well, screw there on the water pump. You need to fill that with gearbox oil. Um, the bearing inside here is lubricated with gearbox oil. So it's really tucked away inside here, so you can't really see it. But it's quite important you don't forget that because else your bearing would be yeah running yeah, dry actually and that could ruin your water pump so you can see here on top that's the fill hole and here on the side you have a little screw we've already we've already taken that out i don't know if you can see that there it is here you need to fill the top uh, you need to fill the, the, the top one until the lower one fills over, spill, spills over. So yeah, it's a bit of a fiddle. That's why we have this. This is really handy because you can stick this in. And we can just start pumping, push pressure on it. And we can watch on this side if it spills over. Yeah, 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 yeah. You You're all there, already there. Already it's already there. spilling over here. Okay, I can't stop it. <laughs> so, uh, I'm putting my finger on it. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a Unimog, especially with this type of engine, do not forget to check this because well, you don't want to ruin your water pump now, do we? So, the water pump needs to be uh, run with gearbox oil the same kind of oil as you put in your axles and your gearbox um, there's also for this little bearing here uh, that's for your um, fan there's also a little bit of uh, on the fan itself i can show you you can just take the fan on the van itself there's also a filling hole you can see it's red that means this needs to be lubricated as well. So uh, inside here you need to put your standard motor oil. So for the water pump it's gearbox oil and for the fan it's motor oil. Yeah, don't forget that. I've told you now. So don't go and ruin your engine. Yeah, that looks really safe. Normally, to remove the cap of the Unibox, you need to remove this one. The steering column, but it did not want to move. It's completely stuck, it works, so we'll just leave it there. And we've made um, a small incision in the cab to accommodate for the steering cam. I know, I know, it's, it's not, um, uh, how do you say that? It's not um, pretty. pretty, but it works, so yeah. We've done that, it's done, now continue. There you can see why we did that. thing is you can't lift it straight up because of the, uh, the swing foyer. Yeah, the swing foyer that's uh, the German uh, Work for noise maker, noise maker <laughs> aka uh, zoom bomb or no it's just the heater for the cab. What?
It's a pulse jet engine that heats your cab. Because why not? <laughs> because that is awesome. Um, I'm going to have to bleep that out. <laughs> okay, so I think it is ready to come down. Are we clear? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have touched down. It is the hand from below. Three hours later. Well, but, uh, we've got a little bit of gasoline leaking here. Uh, or is it just flooded? I think it's not flooded. It's coming from up here. Let's check that. Ah, damn. <laughs> Sorry, my fault. <laughs> Ja, 
Yeah. <laughs> it's the test. She drives again! Yes. We did it. Way. Got to drive it for the very first time. I drove it. It's his. It's mine. It's his now. It's mine now. Out of my it's hands. Nice. It's now my problem. It's now your problem. <laughs> and it's a big truck, so it's a big problem. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. And um, if you want to see uh, more of my Unimog or his Unimog or whatever army truck we have in store for you next as we have more in store for you next it's right there you can't see it but it's right there we can turn the camera and maybe, see it, make it maybe we, we, no we're not gonna show it yet you'll just have to like and subscribe for this one <laughs> see you next time thanks for watching